Hi there, this is Cassie Marina and this is your branding queen, your brand strategist here to show you um, how to get started with Pinterest. Now, um, what you're going to see here is going to be a little bit different to what you are going to see because I'm showing you how to pin to Pinterest and how to build your inspiration board from my end. For you, you will see something else when you land on Pinterest, you would see a whole feed of different things they would show you. Right now, what you're seeing is my profile and I'm going to start from here, right? So when you begin branding with CDB Design Studio, you'll get your welcome email that will tell you exactly what to do and it would link you directly to my page and it will take you right here. Or at least it should and <clears throat> when you land on my page you'll see a follow button you need to follow that button so then I can come in and add you to the secret Pinterest board where we would both collaborate mainly you would be doing a lot of the pinning I would be doing a lot of the eliminating and helping you to figure things out when we do meet before we actually started the design part or the design phase of the whole process right so when you reach here you you should see a button somewhere to click follow and then you follow me just send me an email or just communicate with me somehow that you follow the page just in case I miss it and then I'll add you to the secret Pinterest board and then you start pinning now one of the things you want to start pinning is items or logos in your industry so let's say you're a hmm, let's see let's say you're a i'm trying to think of a service service based industry okay i can't come something isn't coming to mind right now but let us just start with logo design inspiration right that's very generic and you will see a whole bunch of logos that will come up here when you type in things like logo design inspiration you are going to pin things that appeal to you right and items that you think embody the feel and the vibe or the aesthetic that you are going for or the style you are going for for your brand so that I can get an idea of what you like right now I always talk about finding the balance between what you like and what works for your industry that's where I would come in but I still like to see and have an idea of what you like because design is so subjective and art on a whole is subjective it's still good for the designer to know so they can gauge okay they're not gonna like this because that's not their style right um so if there you see something that you like for example this seems interesting to you you hover over you will see the red button you click save once I've added you to that board on the list of boards you're going to go looking for the name of the board now it would, it would name it would be named client and then your name or the name of your business or both so for the sake of this exercise I created a board called client how right how to build an inspiration board and then it will be added to your inspiration board and then you keep going and you keep pinning stuff and it's ideal to have at least five to ten items not too much and with a good mix of visuals so another thing I like to tell people to pin is to pin pictures of sceneries art nature so it's not just about pinning logos because you don't want to get caught in a box of looking at other people's logos. You need other sources of inspiration. Just as people encourage creatives that when they have a creative block to go outside, take a walk, um, 
do something different, go to the movies, um, watch a movie, it starts to um, jog your creativity. So I would think of, um, let's say you're a yoga instructor, you can search calming spaces. And then you go down and you find images that you think has a really interesting color palette. This one is just pretty plain, it's just more or less shades of teal and white. You're not gonna get a very interesting color palette there. But this one has an interesting color palette that you can save and add to the board right you just click save and that's it I'm going to show you a couple other examples you see right here you're already getting a color palette but it's pretty monotone so you want to get something that has at least two strong colors or even three strong colors and the other two because we usually use a color palette of five colors you can do more about five or six but most times we end up with five but to keep it interesting find pictures with a little more range and not too much to okay so that's it for searching calming spaces if you have a boutique store you can try high and I am fashion or I am yeah I am fashion we'll try it out. I'm not really getting too many interesting things that I would normally find so I'm going to keep searching for some more examples so I can get some better examples What you'd notice a lot of the high end that the high end tends to use black and white a lot, right? And it's black and white stripes, black, um, even this look at the textures in certain images or the patterns. So that if I see this, I might think, oh, this is they might be feeling this pattern, and I'd create something very similar to it or just use it as a starting point to create a pattern for the brand or even the full I can try to create a pattern that has a full effect to give that aesthetic and feeling because remember branding is about how you make your audience feel how you make your target audience feel more specifically your ideal client what feeling do you want to invoke so you start searching for me. If you go really quickly without thinking about it too much, something is going to stop and stand out to you. For example, this is a pretty interesting space. You see in white, black, gold, a touch of green, maybe orange if you want to pull up on the orange. This one is black and white space. If you want to move away from the common color of magenta, this mint green and salmon pink would make a nice color palette if paired with black and white. If you're going for that high and chic boutique, but without the magenta, I think that would make a really nice color palette. So that's just one example. This has an interesting color palette. So it all, all depends on 
what you are going for, but it has to be a balance between what you like, what you are going for, and what is going to work for your industry. So that's just a quick, brief overview of what you're going to do when you are building your inspiration board and how to do it. So I hope this video helps you. 